We had 25 hearings around the state. We had 1,700 and some odd uh, witnesses that got up and said whatever they wanted, however insulting it was they wanted to be <coughs> to us. You know, we sat there and we took it and we listened to them. And then we had a series of committee meetings with the wide open in front of microphones, in front of the public, where we talked about different concepts. And we took the state and divided it into four sections. And we talked about each of those sections. And we arrived at conclusions in most cases, or if not all cases, by unanimous consent. That's Republicans and Democrats. And then we took those concepts and Senator Gates and the committee staff put them together in a bill that I think is a good bill. Now, you know, when you've got 67 counties, 18 million people, only 40 Senate districts, you know, there's going to be counties that get split. But I'm proud to say that in the Senate map in Pinellas County, there's only one city that's in more than one district in Pinellas County, and that's St. Petersburg, our biggest city. The rest of the cities are kept whole. In Pinellas County, we had testimony at our hearing in Largo from a number of the beach mayors who, who had one major concern is that they wanted to be unified in whoever was their representative. Okay, over and over they came in there and said, they said that. We drew a map that put them all together. And just to prove that we didn't do anything to preserve incumbents and protect incumbents, of course, maybe I'm not on the top of the list to get protected if we were going to protect them. <laughs> just to prove that, the Senate district that I reside in, that as it came out on the map this week, and I'm a senior member, the Senate the, uh, district that I reside in only has 21% of my existing district, the district I was elected to last year. So that means next year i got to do this all over again, go out and make all new friends in, in North Pinellas County, and start from scratch. Because a lot of the people are gone that were there the last time. So that's proof in the pudding that we didn't take into consideration where incumbents lived and which party they were. And right from the get-go, we changed one seat. We took the president of the Senate seat, incumbent Republican, Herod Office, and made that into a Hispanic seat in Orlando, and uh, which probably will be Puerto Rican and probably will be a Democratic seat. So I know you're going to have some other questions about that, and I'd be happy to answer them at this point. Lou, Lou is just as obnoxious as always. Okay. <laughs> This is long. You can ask, ask the first question. I know this will be a duty. <laughs> 